Love. What up, guys? This is Chivo Guys. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today we're going to be focusing on Apple Slash. This game was published by Rattalaka Games and it was developed by Agelvik. Now this game has 11 achievements or trophies, including some achievements for finding some keys. We need to find a total of four keys to be able to find the secret concert. We also have to beat the game. So without a guide, this could take about an hour. However, with the guide, you can probably cut that in half and get it done in about 25 to 30 minutes. On top of it being a really easy 30 minute completion, it's also only $4.99. So this game should be popular with Achievement Hunters being that it's cheap and easy. So once we start off, we're going to head over here to the left. This game is a twin stick hack and slash. At first, I didn't realize that I can change the direction of my swing or my sword. You can change the direction with the right stick. All right, so those are the blobs. Now, five of the 11 achievements are related to getting kills. We're going to have to kill a total of 1,000 blobs. We get an achievement after killing our first 50 blobs, then 250, 500, 750, and then finally 1,000 blobs. Other than that, we get some achievements related to interacting with some items across the map as well as collecting some items. So I'm going to be guiding you guys through collecting everything as well as completing it, and it should only take about 30 minutes or so. Now, there are going to be some instances in this video where I'm not commentating it just because there's really no need to commentate through all of this slashing or apple slashing. Uh, but basically, anytime you encounter enemies, guys, you guys wanna make sure you're killing them, being that we need to rack up 1,000 kills. So up until you get all of your achievements for getting kills and you get that last achievement for 1,000, you wanna make sure that you continue to slash all of the blobs. All right, so this is our first checkpoint. Now, if we die, we'll spawn right here. Now, real quick before we advance, I wanna show you this door right here. This is the door that we need four keys for. It will lead us to the secret concert in which we'll unlock the achievement related to watching that concert. So just head down here. You wanna talk to this guy right here and then continue down the path. Now we have a key located right here, over here on the right hand side, however we can't reach it quite yet because we need the power to be able to cross the bridge. So we're going to go ahead and ignore that key for right now, but if you go right here to the right you're going to find a treasure chest, you want to open it up and we're going to find our first power up. This is the sword orang, it's like the sword but a boomerang, you press LB to use it. Now just keep in mind, I think it has like a 4 second cooldown so you're going to have to wait a few seconds before you can use it again. You can simply not keep spamming it. You'll also notice I just unlocked my first achievement related to getting kills. That's for getting 50 kills. Now we're going to find a door and a checkpoint right here. We'll need to interact with that big blob to open that door. First thing you want to do is you want to go talk to Carther once again. And then he's going to run over to the right in which we're going to continue advancing over here down to the left.
All right, after you're done slashing up all of those blobs and you reach the end of the path, you're gonna find a tree and you need to keep attacking the tree. After you've attacked it enough, you need to head over and pick up the mask. There we go, so let's go ahead and talk to the mask. The mask's name is Heppy. And we're gonna go ahead and skip to this dialogue. And that's going to give you the fly's power up. So now we can walk across the bridge because we basically create like a fly bridge that we can walk across. Now we're gonna unlock an achievement called Freedom worth 90 gamer score for cutting loose Heppy from the tree. The next you wanna interact with this big blob right here. That's going to go ahead and break through that door. And we're going to head over here to the left and we can shortcut through uh, using these bridges now. But before we head over there, you wanna head all the way over here to the left, cross this bridge, and we're going to find the first eye. After that, we're gonna go down here and we're going to continue over to the right. The other eye is on the other side. There we go, past the checkpoint, past the door. The other eye is on the other side of that door. So, we're gonna walk up here and now we can cross this bridge in which we're gonna get this other eye. Perfect, so now that we have both eyes, um, actually, let's head over here real quick uh, because we also have this key that we can get via crossing this bridge before we weren't able to get it. So we got our first secret key. We need three more. And go ahead and slash these blobs and head back to the door that broke uh, with that big blob that we interacted with. Meanwhile, try to rack up your kills. I know it's tempting to skip them, but we need 1,000 kills, so... Might as well just, you know, kill all the enemies that you encounter along the way. Alright, I'm gonna skip that guy. So, let's go ahead and walk through here. And we want to go interact with this sad treasure chest right here. Assuming you picked up the two eyeball looking things, you're going to give them to the sad treasure chest. Those are actually the eyes for the treasure chest, so it's gonna get all happy that it can see again. And he's going to end up giving us our next power up, which is the thorn power up. I believe you use it by holding down the left trigger. It also has a cooldown as well though, so you can't spam that one either. Alright, so now that we have the thorn power up, we can get through some of these areas that we weren't able to get through uh, before this power up. We're going to unlock an achievement for giving the eyes to the sad treasure chest. And just continue to follow down this path. Killing all of the enemies along the way. Maybe not necessarily those big guys. It's really not worth it. Um, but just because there's instances in this level where you can encounter a lot of the smaller enemies. So I'd say don't waste too much time with the big enemies in the water that are shooting the projectiles at you. Alright, and then walk all the way down. Press this switch right here. And light the first flame. Okay, and we're going to cross this bridge with our flies. And now we're going to head down here. This is where we're gonna end the game. You don't need to talk to him quite yet. You're not gonna be able to do anything. So we're gonna walk all the way over here. All right, so if you go up right there, that's where you're going to encounter the most enemies. We're gonna skip it for now, but I'll show you it in a sec because we have a treasure chest right here. So open up this next treasure chest and we're going to unlock our next power. It's another power up that's managed by the LB button. It's a big sword that drops from the sky. I believe you can alternate through your powers using the D-pad. Alright, so next you're going to find these egg looking things or at least that's what the game refers to them as. They look more like strawberries with dots on them. We need to destroy all of these eggs. There's a mission to do so and basically this is like a big circle or a big loop that we're going to be going through. And you just need to make sure that not only are you killing the enemies, but you're also killing the big uh, strawberry egg looking things. And you can kind of just spam LB making sure that you're using your power ups because they do deal a lot of damage. Alright, so just follow where I'm going. Make sure that you're killing all of the enemies along the way and that you're destroying all of the eggs. And when you run into this guy right here, you want to make sure that you talk to him. He's the one that's going to ask you to destroy all of the eggs. And after we destroy all of them, we need to go talk to him because he's going to reward us. We also have a treasure chest right here. Make sure to interact with this one. 
This is just gonna unlock another power up. Again, you use it with LB, you can alternate it with the D-pad. And that's going to be our third and final special skill. After you have all three of them unlocked, you should be unlocking the achievement or trophy for getting the trio of special skills. I found that this had a little bit of a delayed pop for me, but it ended up popping after a few seconds. There we go, the strong trio with 90 gamer score for acquiring the special skills. Alright, so we're still trying to destroy all of these eggs, but I did unlock my next achievement related to getting kills, worth 90 gamer score, this time for killing 250 enemies. Alright guys, these two are going to be our final eggs, and at this point, we have destroyed all of them. It shows you how many eggs you've destroyed on the lower left hand corner of the screen as you destroy them. Next you want to step on this switch right here, it's going to light the second flame and it's going to open up that doorway. But we still need to go talk to the guy that asked us to destroy all of the eggs before we go through there. So let's go ahead and go down here with our flies, destroy these enemies, use our thorn power up to make our way through these thorns, and this is back to the area where I said had the most enemies. And they respawn, so even though you destroy them, if you go back through this little loop right here, you will encounter more enemies. If by the time you end up completing the game and you don't have all 1,000 kills, this is the area I recommend going back to in effort to grind them out, just because you're gonna encounter a ton of enemies here. Now, more than likely, you're gonna end up dying at least one or two times uh, during that process. For instance, I finally ended up dying. The good thing is, is that the checkpoint is still fairly close to where you rack up all of those kills. So, from the checkpoint, you're just going to go through here, and we're right back where we started. You go through the thorns, and a bunch of enemies are going to start spawning, in which you can rack up a bunch of kills. This is also where you find the professor that asked you to destroy all of the eggs. Now, typically, I've been, you know, editing out any deaths that I had, but I wanted to include that one just because I know more than likely you're going to die um, at some point in time during this part of the level, and I want to show you how to get back to this area, so hopefully that wasn't too big of an inconvenience for you guys. Let's see here. So I'm going to kill all the enemies. I'm going to continue upward, and here we have the professor. So talk to the professor. Assuming you got all of the eggs, he's going to give you our next key. So collect our key. That's going to be the second key. We still have two more keys to find though. So we're going to head down, kill all of the enemies along the way. And once you get through the thorn, you want to head over to the right. And before we head upward and advance through the level, we're going to backtrack a bit just because we have the thorn power up and we're able to access some areas that we weren't able to access before. So just follow where I'm going exactly and we're going to get ourselves our next key.
All right, so this is the path that we were not able to access earlier because we didn't have the power up to break down the thorns. So go ahead and collect that key. That is going to be our third of four keys. Now the fourth key is going to randomly end it back at the spawning point where we first started off the game. Now I believe it doesn't appear there until after we defeat the boss of the game. So let's go ahead and head over back to that doorway that we opened up with both of those flames. Alright, so once we enter through this doorway, we're going to start the boss battle. This is the boss of the whole game. All right, perfect. So after we defeat the boss, it's going to drop two items. We're going to find that old man's hat, as well as a great apple, which 15 plus is your health. All right, so as I mentioned before, the last key is located at the very beginning of the level. So before you talk to the old man and give him his hat, that will end the game. So you wanna make sure that before you do that, you go down all the way back to where we started the game. And we're going to find the fourth key located right there. Now that achievement was a little delayed. That was the achievement for defeating the boss. Just keep following where I'm going and I'll take you back to the very beginning of the game. You can definitely tell they spawned way more enemies down here to protect this last key. But that is going to be our fourth secret key in which we can take back to that doorway, unlock it and we can watch the secret concert. No big deal on a bunch of enemies because we still need to get those 1000 kills so make sure that you're killing all of these blobs along the way.
All right, so once you get to this checkpoint, you want to take a right. It's going to take you to this door in which you're going to place the four keys. And that will take us down a path that's going to lead us to watching the secret show. I gotta admit, that show was a little longer than I expected, but you are going to end up unlocking an achievement for watching it. And that is pretty much the hardest achievement in the game, or at least probably the most missable one, just being that you need to find the four keys. Alright, so we're going to head back over, and what we need to do is we need to give the hat to the old man, and it will go ahead and end the game. Again, we have a delayed achievement pop. That one's for watching the secret concert. Now, the last thing that we need to do is give the hat to the old man. Again, that will end the game. But before you do that, you need to make sure that you have your 1,000 kills. So I'm going to go back to the area where I think that you can rack up the most kills. More than likely, you don't have your 1,000 kills yet. So just follow exactly where I'm going. And you can rack up a bunch of kills as well. And once you got your 1,000, you can go ahead and give the hat to the old man and end the game and get your final achievement. Now, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through about two minutes of hack and slashing. That way, you know, you guys don't have to see me grinding out this achievement. But after grinding out kills for about five minutes in this area, I ended up unlocking my two achievements. The first one for killing 750 blobs and then the second one for killing 1,000 blobs. So after you unlock the killer five achievement for getting the 1,000 kills, it's going to be worth 90 gamer score. You want to make sure that we go ahead and get the hat back to the old man in which it's going to end the game and we should be unlocking our final achievement or trophy. Now after you get your 1000 kills, just let the enemies kill you. You're going to end it back at this checkpoint right here in which you're going to talk to the old man located right here. After you talk to him, you're going to give him his hat and he's going to take you on a little boat ride and the game is going to end. And you should be unlocking your final achievement or trophy, giving you that sweet 1000 gamer score or platinum trophy. Now, personally, my achievement didn't pop right away. I'm not too sure if it was just another delay, but I went ahead and continued the game from the main menu, and that ended up popping my achievement for completing the game. And that's when I got my full 1000 gamer score. As always, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 16 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including TimG84, AOJ, Kegger101, Kana25, Michael Banksa, and Purple Rain6. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh.